So the fall of 2020 is shaping up to be the most interesting one in quite a while with getting a new generation of consoles as well as new processors from AMD and also new GPUs. I've seen a couple of comments asking whether it'll be worth waiting for these new GPUs and I think it all depends on what type of PC you're planning on building but based on leaks everything points to both Nvidia and AMD launching with high-end GPUs first to then follow up with mid-tier and entry-level cards later in 2021. And we're gonna look into what AMD's RX 6000 series of cards lineup might look like, but if you're planning on building a high-end PC, unless you have already got your hands on the RTX 3080 or 3090, yeah, I do think it's worth waiting until we've seen AMD's presentation on October 28th before yeah, pulling the trigger. Now, based on leaks, we're pretty sure AMD is gonna launch with GPUs based on the highest end Navi 21 and possibly their mid tier Navi 22 GPU, where Navi 21 seemed to have dead target at the 3080 and Navi 22 at the 3070 and below. Now, Nvidia is responding with several cards, and in case you're interested, there are videos linked up down below that go through their cards in much, much greater detail. There's been a ton of leaks around Navi 21, which uh, yeah, might be the card that Lisa Su is holding in our hand here. And so it is pretty much guaranteed that we're gonna see a few variants of this GPU at this event. Now, in a series of tweets, Rogue Game might have discovered final clock speeds for two variants of this GPU. Navi 21 XT and Navi 21 XL seem to have clock speeds that goes as high as 2.4 GHz. Now these guys are the same GPUs that Cortex leaked an image of just a few days ago. Now based on previous leaks, we know that the Navi 21 GPU lineup includes at least four uh, different variants, possibly with two different VRAM configurations. And based on these leaks, and to put these all leaks in perspective, this is what the lineup might look like. And in terms of performance, the graphics card that AMD teased at its Zen 3 announcement was most likely based on the Navi 21 XT die, and this might be either the Radeon RX 6900 XT, or it might even be the RX 6800 XT, according to Red Gaming Tech. And we have seen at least two separate reports that Navi 21 might hit clock speeds of 2.4 GHz, and this would give the card a TGP, which stands for Total Graphics Power, of 255 watts. And this is quite low for being a high-end 4K gaming GPU. Patrick Shore has also tweeted 2.4 GHz and 255 TGP. This is however said to be based on the reference specs, where the max TGP is suggested to be around 290 watts, and these are gonna be the highest end AIP models, so think Asus Strixir and Gigabyte or as Monster for example. And going back to clock speeds guys, Rogue Game has actually given us a better insight of what to expect from the Navi 21 SKU in regards to clock frequencies. Now both Navi 21 XT and Navi 21 XL We'll have a huge variation between base and boost clocks. Rogue Game reports that the Navi 21 XT and XL GPUs will feature even higher clock speeds once AIBs such as Gigabyte, Asus and Sapphire make their own custom models. However, as we have learned through the past couple of months, the first batch of GPUs will be reference only, unfortunately, where the only difference between the brands will be a sticker on the GPU cooler. Thankfully though, I think the cooler looks very good, so hopefully it will be very efficient too. But let me know your thoughts on the cooler down below. Now, Video Card has also been in contact with AIBs who have revealed that the Navi 21 XL would have a peak uh, clock speed around 2.2, so we might see reference cards hitting around 2.2, perhaps even 2.3 GHz and AIB models might go as high as 2.4 out of the box. Now, as for the highest end Navi 21 variant, which is supposed to be called XTX, seem to be a specially bin variant that AMD can market as the highest, the highest end big big Navi if you like. This might be water cooled and it probably won't be that popular and it does seem like this will be quite expensive too. Now in terms of performance for this card, 
there has been a couple of reports that this GPU might be within striking distance of the 3090, but that obviously remains to be seen. Now from the look of it guys, it does seem like lower end GPUs will delay to uh, 2021, so if you want to build a budget friendly PC right now, I highly recommend one of my recent Ryzen 3400G APU builds linked up down below. So what do you think about Big Navi guys? Share your thoughts in the comments. Now I'm super super excited for October 28th and I cannot wait to find out what type of GPUs AMD's got in mind for us. I want to thank you so much for sticking around this long and watch it of these two videos and I will see you guys in the next video.